so when I put him up over me, and he put his back feet in my jersey, and uh, I just kept one hand on him to keep him from falling off or whatnot, and rode all the way back like that. I had those pockets in my jersey, and uh, I just picked him up like I do my little girl when I put her on my shoulders. And he was kind of, he was injured, so he wasn't trying to fight a lot, but he was also happy that we were there and touching him and hadn't just took off on him like most of the people, I guess, had been doing. But I think everyone assumed that he was my dog because people would just wave and go, oh, look at the dog. And I was kind of in my head going, do you want him? Do you want to keep him? You know, as I would go by. But I knew in my, I kept thinking that once we got down here around all the people and everything, worst case scenario, he would have been like the fourth, fifth rescue dog I brought home. And bringing him back on the bike, that was just kind of like hit the beginning of his, of his journey. Because once I put him on the ground and he found her, like the really cool part of it kind of took over. He saw her and went right to her like he knew, you know, this is my, this is where I'm supposed to be going. You know, he ran right up to her and it stopped her in her tracks. You know, she was like, he's, he's broken and, and bleeding and I have to keep him. And I was like, well, if you're able, you know, he needs something like that. Where he was at, especially as hot as it's getting in the day, he was going to end up alligator food, I feel like, out there next to Oxbow trying to get him some water and end up baiting. I feel like it was meant to be because had had I taken five minutes longer to get here, Andrea would have been long gone, you know. Had we not stopped, he'd still be out there, you know. And then her being as able as she was and as happy to do it, you know, to get him taken care of like she did, that was pretty cool. People always say, well, you know, well, he went to a farm, you know. He's actually going to a farm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's going to be the happiest dog now.